This is a replica of the 68 Mustang GT390 Steve McQueen drove in the movie Bullet. This is the 2019 Mustang Bullet. It pays homage to this car and that iconic car chase. They are two very different vehicles, but as sweet as they come. The big story here is all about the muscle. The original GT390 had a 390 cubic inch V8 that got its go juice from a four barrel Holly Carburetta. It produced 320 horsepower and 427 pound feet of torque and drove the rear wheels through a four speed manual transmission. It had a less than defined gait and the throws, well, they were just shy of a time zone. In fairness, the gearbox did what was required. The ratios are long and the engine is so flexible the two actually work rather well together. The 2019 Bullet arrives with a 5 litre V8 that pushes 480 horsepower and 420 pound feet of torque through a 6 speed manual gearbox, Torsen Limited Slip Rear Differential, and the back wheels. In this case, the throws are short, the spacing just right, and the clutch action is light. It also benefits from a rev matching system. It mimics heel and toe shifting by blipping the gas on a downshift. Now given there's 50 years between these two cars, the level of performance is not that different. This 68, 0 to 100k in 6.4 seconds, this thing chops it to 4.9 seconds. That is not a great deal. What I do take issue with is perhaps Ford. Now 50 years, 10 horsepower per year, 500 seems like a nice round number. I'm not complaining what's underneath this hood, but 500 as I say, would be sweet. When you go back to 1968, no advanced safety technologies, two-point lap belts, and of course, no headrests. When it came to the movie, McQueen made a couple of key changes. First of all, this steering wheel came from a 67 GT500, and these two gauges down here, well, they were donated by a GT350. Fast forward to today and you have a very different cabin. This thing's got fantastic Recaro seats, the instrumentation changes according to the drive mode selected, and of course, there's now a full slate of safety technology aboard. A Mustang without a sweet exhaust note would be, well, a travesty. In both cases, they sing long and loud as you play with the gas pedal. Now, there are differences. This thing, pretty much straight through pipe. This one, well, it's got a lot of technology aboard. There's quiet mode for a stealthy getaway, and there's track mode. Now, Ford does say don't use track mode on the road. But you know what? When one of those turkeys with a baked bean can welded to the back end of the exhaust pulls up beside you, you pick track mode and show him who's boss. Where the replica departs from the original 68 bullet is it now has a coilover shock front suspension and lower rear trailing arms with coilovers in place of the leaf springs. The difference the setup makes is remarkable. There's much less axle tramp off the line and way less body roll through a corner. Likewise, ditching the Armstrong steering and adding a powered setup brings better precision. That said, you still kind of nudge the car in a general direction rather than actually steer it. The 19 Bullet earns a full-on magnetic ride suspension that is fully adaptable. It ranges from comfortable to firm and changes according to the drive mode selected. The beauty is my mode. It allows the engine to produce its best work while letting the suspension remain slightly softer. The steering setup is also sharper and it has comfort, normal and sport settings, each of which progressively puts more weight in the wheel. Where both cars benefit is the fact they come with decent brakes. The 68 has a power disc set up front and rear, the 19 counters with a full-on set of Brembos. And so do a few salient facts about the replica of the movie car. It was built on the line two weeks after the movie cars and it came with the same options including the S-Code package. It has the same door mirror from a 1966 Mustang and the radio antenna was moved to the right rear fender to keep it out of the shot. It was also stripped and painted using the original PPG Highland Green paint. Further add to its authenticity, it has an auto light battery and alternator, both of which are rare finds. Finally, the 390 V8 has been bored and stroked, so it now measures 435 cubic inches and produces 500 horsepower. It really is one sweet machine. Two very different but magnificent cars. Now, if you base everything on looks alone, the 68 GT90 wins hands down. From the driver's perspective, well, it has to go to the 2019 Bullet because of its advanced technologies. But what I found interesting is this car set the stage for its modern counterpart. 
as it was back then and continues to be now, these two cars are all about muscle. I'm Graham Fletcher for Driving.ca.